So, um, and first of all, welcome to everybody back to the, uh, the hall at the Lee Cushing Knowledge Institute for really what is a wonderful occasion. Uh, it, it's an honor for me to speak on behalf of the physicians and surgeons and the hospital uh, about the importance of this new wing. So um, St. Michael's Hospital is a hospital committed to the delivery of uh, care of the sickest and those in the greatest need. And so we're kind of remarkable in that not only do we treat the acutely ill from our downtown catchment area, but at the same time, we have broader responsibilities across the province. We're one of two level one trauma centers in the Toronto area. We're also a neurosurgical center that takes referrals from all over the province. We're a center of excellence for vascular surgery, and we're highly regarded as a site for the referral of complex, critically ill patients to our medical intensive care units from across the province. So with these local and provincial responsibilities, it makes actually only logical sense that we should be able to have a facility to provide the highest quality care for our patients. So modern surgery is increasingly dependent on the overlay of surgical skill and surgeons and advanced technologies such as imaging equipment, CT scanners, robotics and information technology. And so together, these technologies integrate all of the patient's information in one spot in the operating room. Our new patient tower will include five new operating rooms, each big enough to accommodate this type of technology. These so-called hybrid operating rooms will allow us to optimize patient care by providing state-of-the-art, point-of-care, real-time information about each of our patients as we operate on them. Patients and their families will also benefit from this new medical surgical intensive care unit plan for the new building. Given the complexities of the patients, and I can assure you they are extremely complex, it is essential that we're able to incorporate the most advanced technologies to help our excellent healthcare teams provide care. So building a new intensive care unit will give us the capacity to do so and to provide this type of quality care for them. And so finally, as we look forward to the future, having operating rooms and an ICU with appropriate space and leading at technology will not only solidify St. Michael's role as an important provincial healthcare resource, but will also serve as a magnet for the brightest and the best healthcare workers from across Canada and from around the world to come here and work at St. Michael's Hospital. Together, these will allow us to provide the highest quality care for our patients. Thank you very much.